Atlanta right now. Most of this is moving on out of here, so that's the positive news. If we zoom in here a little bit closer on live Doppler 13 radar, you can see the heavier rain moving into Delaware County once again, where they've already had some heavy rain. But again, this is the back edge of this system, so this will continue to scoot off to the northeast, and then we'll see much better conditions later on this afternoon. But uh, we still are going to be dealing with the chance of a spotty shower too. But the cold front is now moving off to the east. It's currently. 64 degrees in Kokomo and it is very cloudy and kind of ominous right now in Kokomo. Low cloud coverage and a little bit of wet conditions there in Kokomo. It is currently down to 60 degrees in Crawfordsville. So you really get the idea of how much this cold front is bringing in much cooler air on the back side of that system and it definitely brought in some heavy rainfall. We had a very uh, humid day yesterday, a lot of moisture to work with. 1.37 inches of rain in Carmel, Noblesville over an inch of rain as well as on the north side of Indianapolis and just over an inch of rain in Rusheville. Here's a look at our HD sky cam. You can see those that low cloud deck. Definitely a cloudy start and a wet one at 68 degrees. It's still a bit breezy too with winds out of the west southwest at 17 miles per hour. Here's a look at future track. It's been doing a great job with this system all morning long. Heavy rainfall off to the east that will continue to move on out of here. We pause it here around 1130 and notice most of it is out of central Indiana, maybe a spotty shower or two, but for the most part, we are talking about much drier air moving in on the back side of that cold front. Winds will be out of the northwest, and they will start to pick up likely between 10 and 15 miles per hour this afternoon, so a bit breezy. Temperatures will basically hold steady in the low 70s this afternoon, so if you're heading to Indy Irish Fest, should be a great afternoon for all the live entertainment out there. We'll see highs topping out around 73 degrees in Lafayette, 74 in Greencastle, 71 the high in Peru, and 76 in North Vernon. Tonight at the Vic, we'll see a great game, mostly clear skies. Temperatures will actually tumble pretty quickly once that sun goes down at the first pitch at 7.05, 68 degrees, down to 61 by 10 p.m. And then temperatures will really tumble later tonight with those clear skies and that cooler air rushing in. Temperatures will fall into the upper 40s and low 50s. Here's a look at your SkyTrack 13 forecast. A breezy afternoon, could see a gust or two around 20 5 miles per hour, high of 72. Temperatures fall to 52 early Sunday morning, high of 71 on Sunday afternoon. And then as we head into the work week, check out the temperatures climbing back up to the 80 degree mark Wednesday, which is the first day.